Hi, Coach. So glad you found us on YouTube. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, those are big ones for us. If you're looking for more depth in your coaching, if you're looking for a community, if you're looking for resources, if you're looking how to run a one three one zone, um, make sure you check out teachhoops.com. It'll be one of these corners up here will be a link or down below. Uh, it's a 14-day free trial. Go check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, and enjoy the video. Can you hear me? Good. Can you hear me? No. One second. Okay. Oh, there you are. Got me? Yep. All right. Awesome. Cool. I've had a couple people that I haven't been able to, like, oh, my God, I just got off one. It's like, all right, we got it. We're good. <laughs> We're good. We got it. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Good. Looking forward to it. All right. Go ahead. Shoot away. Yeah. Um, so I just got hired uh, at Wapaka. Okay. Awesome. So I'm, uh, um, and I meet the players for the first time on this Sunday. Okay. Uh, and I have a meeting set up with – them and the parents are coming in as well. Uh, together? Yep. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, and we're kind of going from there. Um, and then I'm kind of just scrambling to uh, figure out what I got to do for summer and all that. So. Yep. So, um, all right. So, let's talk about this. So, summer. So, do you have a booster club? Do you have somebody that will run the behind-the-scenes stuff for you? Or are you going to uh, I have a booster thing. I don't have anyone to run. Uh, I think I have one guy that runs it behind the scenes. So I think I do have that actually. Okay. Um, he's already been in contact with me. Okay. So. Yep. So, and, uh, and are you going to have everybody at every level play this summer? Are you going to have incoming freshmen play? Have you thought about <clears throat> yeah. So I'm going to have, I think I'm gonna, just going to do like a week for the incoming freshmen. Okay. Um, kind of host like our own little camp for them. Yep, that's a good idea. And then here's what we're about. Here are our standards. Here's what you need to know. Yep, basically yep. that. That's a really and then I uh, have a JV Summer League um, and uh, maybe like uh, one shootout for them or yep. something. Yep. And then Varsity have a shootout, team camp, and the league, and maybe one other thing. So. Yeah, so, okay, so I think that's perfect. I, would, I, would, I, I wouldn't do anything more with either your JV or Varsity personally. Okay. I would try to have like like you're doing with your freshmen, try to do yeah. that with your JV and your varsity. So I would literally schedule it like, okay, here's our team camp, here's our league, here's our, you know, one shootout or whatever we're doing. And then here's our let's talk, let's discuss, because it, you know, um, let's yeah. discuss when we can do our stuff. Um, what day of the week, when when does it work for you, all that kind of stuff. Because that's much more important than open gyms. Mm -hmm. um, because you're going to want to be able to go, you're going to want to be able to say, um, here is, we're going to run this offense. I want to see how this look. I mean, cause you're going to literally over the next, you know, what do you got? Like eight weeks, you got to yeah. figure out what you think you're going to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then you want to test it. That's what I'm doing right now. I mean, I took a week off for spring break and then I've already been with my coaches and we've been slacking and sending. It's like, Here's what we think we can do with the guys that are coming back. Okay. Uh, let's try it this summer because yep. nobody cares. Nobody cares how you did in the summer. And then, and then we're going to have to pivot again later, but it, it's got to, this has got to be your, especially for you, the first year, your laboratory is the uh, summer. this summer. It's got to be like, you got to figure out who can handle the rock, who can shoot whether you set screens, how you read screen. I mean, all that kind of stuff you got to figure out in a very short period of okay. time. Um, mm -hmm. And that's where you got to run, use your five days as effective yep. as possible. Like we're doing camps and this is where the parents can get involved. It's like, Hey, I want them to be successful. I want to give everybody, all the kids a shot. Let's do this as, you know, maybe we do a morning one and then we go to somebody's house and have lunch and then we come back and then we have, you know, we go to somebody else's house or we go to a movie together, something. So you're building those relationships um, in the summer yep. because okay. you can be a good cop in the summer um, mm -hmm. for a couple of reasons. They all think they're going to play <laughs> and, and, um, and you're new. So that's good. Yep. 
and and they're you, you're not holding anything that they you know you're holding it at the end but the, you know so that's where you can build the relationships and figure out ooh these three kids are my leaders these three kids really don't understand what hard work is these two kids love to rebound I mean so that's where and then if you want I mean I don't know your group but that's where you want to try to bring them together too um, okay so yes I wouldn't do anything more as far as some people go and do like three shootouts and two leagues and you know. Yeah, we play, we play in a couple. We do a couple things, but that's not you know that's not us at this point. Yeah, what we need to do. So yours, you're more about building it from the bottom up. Um, yeah, correct, and it's and it's pretty uh pretty bottom. <laughs> yeah, All right now. So yeah, that's good. but I mean I think that's what you're gonna say, and then and then if you after those first four days and you say okay you know, look at this. We track this. You, we, we, you guys got to get in the gym. We got to get some shots up, you know, mm -hmm. you can't shoot or look at this. We can't handle the rock. Well, July is going to be us getting in there and working on ball handling. And here's, you know, I know a bunch of you play football or da da da, da but you know, if we're going to be successful, here's what we're going to have to do. And that's, yeah. that's part of that point to the, to the parents too. It's like, you know, uh, you know, Here's what our vision is. Here's where we're at. You know, I want, we're, we're on this together. Um, but, you know, you know, how can we be successful doing that? Uh, yeah. I think it's a question. Uh, one thing I'm uh, thinking of, because uh, starting up is like a morning shooting. Yeah. Uh, where we get up, try to get in there almost every morning and just, it's just with the shooting machines up, uh, yep. getting up as many shots as we can. Yep. And I would do two things with that. I would, I would say, <sighs> I'm putting air quotes. This is mandatory. mandatory <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah. You yeah. Need to come in and get shots up, um, and that's where parents can help. Some who's going to bring who? who what parents are going to bring in the 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 bananas and the oranges and the donuts and they love parents love doing that crap. Okay. Um, you know, so that the kids have something after they're done. Um, yeah. They you got to figure a way to track it for them, and then. Yeah. Um, and the types of shots that you want. So this is again, where you're experimenting. Mach the machine's great, but if you've mm -hmm. been watching the NCAAs, you know, how often is a pass from the bottom of the basket out? It's not. <laughs> yeah. So you got to think, okay, I'm going to run this kind of offense while well, we need to make the pass at the top of the key and then they need to pass it to the corner or we need to do it off a of flare cut. So that's what, like, you got to break up your days. Monday is just going to be literally, we're going to get you in the machine or you're, you're all going to get up 300 shots. Sure. Wednesday is going to be, you know, here's our reads, blah, 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 those kind of things. But okay. yeah, I love more. I mean, I don't do them as much as I used to because I'm getting old. So <laughs> yeah. Now I used to do them all the time. Okay. Because um, it's a great way to get up stuff. And then, you know, they don't have to worry about it after school or, you know, if they have baseball or they have football or whatever they have. Yeah. You know, I'll wake up 40 minutes before school starts and take a shower here. And it, it, it's doable if you want to do it. Okay. But again, you want to, you got to figure out ways. So this is hard when you get your first job and it was hard for me. It's like, you, you feel like it's you versus the parents in some respects. Yep. Um, you got to figure a way that they can feel involved. Um, okay. So like social things, food, you know, things that aren't like Johnny ain't going to play more because you're doing this, but it, it's building, you know, yeah, kind of the relationship yeah, in the community. Only five, there's only five happy coaches in the state of Wisconsin at the end of the year. There's only five <laughs> happy ones. You know, I, I don't yep. know who I was reading. So, you know, we want to win our last game. But, you know, if that's the bar, well, the bar is, let's, you know, this is a relationship. These are kids that are growing up together. This is times that they'll remember. Half the guys remember our events more than even some of our state championships. I remember bus rides and stuff more. They, you know, they talk about that crap more than the other stuff sometimes. Yeah. So that's what you got to sell the parents. This is about the journey. <clears throat> okay. We do that because that will help you on the court. Like Michigan yeah. State's a prime example. That, that's a team. <laughs> they're a yes, team. That, yes, they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're good basketball players, but they're, they're going to, they're going to war together. Like, I'm actually from Michigan, so I'm a big. Well, and the thing is, what I've noticed in this tournament is you better rebound. Me, I, I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm a rebounding. Like these guys, all these teams rebound. No tomorrow. Like, <laughs> I know. <clears throat> Do you think they 
teach that or do they just rep, like emphasize it? Well, Izzo is just this, Izzo is just this war guy, you know, just battle guy. But I think yeah. you know, it, it, it's got to be a point of emphasis. All my great rebounding teams, it was definitely a point of emphasis. Yeah. Yeah. Like rebound, rebound, rebound. You know, it's almost like the leading rebounder's got to get like a belt or something. I mean, it's got to be, <laughs> like, be like being an offensive lineman. I think. The more, yeah. Um, I was thinking about that in my ride home from Florida. It's like, how do you do that? How do you, you know, nobody wants to be a left tackle. So there's ways if they sell that. It's almost yep. the same way with rebounding. And my my personal opinion is, if it's an offensive rebound, it's your ball. You get to shoot it though. Correct. Yep. That way. So they're all a little selfish. So you know, you score, you get it. You, I don't care if you shoot up backwards. You just went and got an offensive rebound. It's yours. Shoot it. Yep. Um, it's the defense boxing out thing that's harder. Um, but it's just got to be a point of emphasis. Mm-hmm. Are you going to have a, a full time assistant? Yes, I get uh, one one full time varsity assistant. Okay. And then. Uh, I think I've already got my JV and uh, freshman guys. Okay, so. that's good. Um, <clears throat> big hire. Yeah. You're what right, was that? Your right hand man's a big hire. Yeah, so I've <laughs> I've been getting like you know the phone calls from every <laughs> everyone. Right. Um. So trying to find that person is going to be a little bit difficult, but it is, and it's like you got to and and you got to like they got to bring something to your table. To mm-hmm. make- Everyone that sits on my bench brings something to the table. They all have their strengths that counter my strengths. Okay. Uh, so that's what you got to think about. Like, I mean, I don't, I mean, to be honest with you, I have very little to do with our offense. I have somebody that that's, he does that. That's his thing. Yep. He's good at it. He's better at it. He thinks like that, you know, it's like, so you got to be able to find someone that, in, that can help you. And maybe it's just relationship wise. Maybe it's just being good cop. Who knows? But okay. however, however they're, however they're going to counter you, I think is important. <clears throat> okay. All right. What else? Um, I'll send you my, somebody else asked today. Um, I'll send you my expectations and all that stuff too. Yeah. That, that would be great if you could do that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Less is more when it comes to that too. So. Is it? Less is more. Okay. Here's my here's my no flexibles. <laughs> here's I'm not gonna bend like you know grades, you know, yeah, that kind of stuff. And then then the other stuff is where you maybe in your town is gonna be different than me. But you know, one of mine is like I I can't handle people that are late. I just late. should I <clears throat> go over that now or should I wait for the uh, season but preseason? Meeting? I think you won't have it ready. You won't have it yeah. in what it wants no you're just gonna say we're gonna set we're gonna set we're gonna set basketball standards and and we're gonna sit down and you can talk to the boys about it too it's like yeah talk about standards what what, what's your standard you know like we always talk about gold standard because we want a gold ball you know we have a gold standard but you know what is your standard and then you tell parents we're gonna sit down i'm gonna have some standards that are non-flexible you can use grades or something and then i said we're gonna come down as a group we're gonna come up with some standards and then we'll let you, and then I, you will all know them. Um, they're not going to be surprised. You know, maybe it's like being on time as a standard. And if you're not, you sit kind of thing. I said, you will all know about these because um, I'm going to send them home and you're going to sign them and your son's going to sign them and I'm going to sign them. And we're going to agree to these, you know, standards. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. But you don't have to do it now because if you do it now, it'll be rushed and it won't be what you want it to be. Um, yeah. You need okay. To- the long walk kind of think about things so. yeah i'm kind of just planning on uh going through the introduction and then kind of summer expectations yep um and basically that's kind of it the thing just it's gonna be the expectation you know we have we're going to we're going to disney world for three weeks is that gonna affect johnny or mm-hmm. you know what happens if football passing leagues happening at the same time what do you, so what you have to do is figure out how you want to handle that um, yep Again, with age, I have like, well, I want to work together. I think I be- I personally believe in multi-sport athletes. Yep. Um, I think, you know, I use the story of me and my parents and brother. We couldn't play board games in our, you know, because we were so competitive. But I, well, we always did everything. Everything was competitive. I want that in my athletes. So, um, 
you just have to explain to the parents. It's like, yeah, my key is I need communication from you and your son. You okay. know, look at all of them. Because I don't want to go to the lacrosse league and have four guys show up. Correct, so, yeah. I understand family's important, summer's important, you're a teenage boy, all those things are great. I want you here when you can be here, but when you can't, I need to know about it. That's, that's gotta be your sell. Um, okay. Because if they don't communicate to you, then it doesn't matter that much. It's like, yep. hey, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to Badger Boys State. I am, you know, going to, you know, a college visit. Great, go do it. I just needed to know about it so then I can go get a JV kid Correct. Yeah. Well, well, that kind of stuff. That's what you. That's the what I hate about summer. I have one of my assistants do it because I hate that because that's the hard part. And if you get everybody on that page, life will be easier this summer. Okay. Yeah, because we we got uh, we're pretty big baseball school, so right. We're gonna be dealing with that. Right. And the, and the thing is, what I say is, hey, I play baseball. You can play a baseball game at two, and if our leagues and games at eight thirty, you can do both of them. You know, yeah, you can, it's possible. You have to make choices and I understand that, but you know, um, you know, the good athletes are able to do that. Okay. It would be my argument, but yep. that will be a come. That will be the thing you hear from the parents is like, you know, how can Johnny do everything? You know, we have all this planned and then it's like, I understand that's yeah. all important. And that's part of the experience, but <clears throat> I am trying to make them successful and here's, you know, this, this will help them. If they can be here, we would love them to be here as much as possible. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. Uh, anything uh, that you can remember when, or that you would other advice you'd give just starting a program and. Yep. So do you have, how are you going to communicate with everybody? I actually was just looking into that uh, with the remind text app. I think that's good. I think okay. is really good. Is it? Uh, yeah, because yeah. they they're not going to go back to you. Yes, I would use Remind. And they can they can use an email. They can text. It all goes out. Um, you can have you can have different categories like these are my players, these are my parents, so on yep. and so forth. Um, yeah, that you just need a way to be able to do it. You know, if you want to, they're all on Snapchat. I don't do that. Um, yeah. My assistants do, one of my assistants is charged with Snapchat. So if I need something <laughs> really fast, I go, you know, Nate, send this out and they poof, you know, and they'll get it. Um, yeah. But, you know, you got to figure out how, the, I think the communication thing is the biggest thing. You know, that's yeah. good. You don't want to think about how you lose your job, but you, how you lose your job is Johnny's mom goes in and says, I didn't know about Summer League. I didn't know. Da, 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 da. It's like, so you got to have like the communication key is, is, you know, yep. top five, you know, coach and talk coach wasn't a communicator coach didn't care about the kid, you know, think about all the things that they can come back at you at. you know? Yeah. That's the one. So you just want to make sure everybody, that's what you say to them. I want us all on the same page. I want this to be a great experience. I want to be able to communicate with you. I mean, mm -hmm. personally, I give them my cell phone. I don't care. Here's yeah. my phone. We live in a smartphone world. If, if you know, Johnny Squirrel dies and he's really upset about it, <clears throat> let me know that he won't be there or have him text. But we need to know, you know, it's like that. I think that's, it's everyone in the room should hear it because I think that's the key. Um, okay. And that's the hardest part is com the communication part. You're going to make the final decision because you're the captain of the ship. Well, here's the leagues we're going to play in. Here's that. That's not what you're that. That's not what that an introductory meeting is. It's like, here's our standard. Here's what we want to do. Here's how I'm going to communicate that to your son. Here's how I'm going to communicate that yeah. to you. So we're all on the same page because, and they'll, they'll leave that room much happier. Um, it's no different than teaching a class. Parents get mad when they don't know the quizzes to today or they don't know. So they're not on the grade book or that kind of stuff. It's similar. Yep. You think of okay. them the same you know, what irritates them. And, you know, yes, Johnny's not playing. He's going to irritate them in December. That's a whole different 20, 30 minutes that we can talk about. That's how you yeah. do it. That's different. This is more about here's how we set the table. Here's how we go forward, that kind of stuff. That okay. Sense. Yeah. And I think that will be big going into that first meeting. And, and to be honest with you, you're, you got to sell. 
your salesman right now. Yep. Um, it was like the memorial job. It was like a horrible job. No one applied for, I had to go in and be a salesman the first four or five years. Like, here's why you want to play. Here's what we're going to do. Here's blah, blah, blah. So positive. Yay. Yay. We're all this together. I am so excited. I, you know, I haven't slept in three weeks. You make fun of yourself. All that stuff. I mean, they got to feel that energy from you. Okay. Uh, so that's what you got to do. And that is communication and our standards, and you're good to go on that first meeting. Awesome. And okay. then you can work on the other stuff. Yeah. Uh, just one other, uh, one other thing I, I can tell that I'm going to have. There's there's two kids that are pretty good. Yep. Uh, one's going to be a junior. One's going to be a sophomore. Okay. Uh, both a little bit of projects, but they're good. Yep. Uh, and their dads are pretty strong. Uh I can see going to be pretty like they've already reached out to me, both of them separately. Yep. Uh, so just any advice going forward there? Uh, just, you know, let me, let me sleep on that one. Okay. Let me sleep on that one. <clears throat> um, here, here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you kind of summarize them. Okay. Send it to me and then I'll, let me, let me sleep on that one. And then I'll give you some good advice. Trust me. I've had the gamut. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, let me let me sleep on that one. Let me sleep. Okay. On okay. All right. You know, I'll email you. Then email me. Let me email me after the meeting. I want to know how the meeting went. Okay, that sounds okay. good. All right. Talk to you soon. All right. Yep. All right. See hey, coach. Hope you like that video. If you're looking for more videos just like that, check out teachhoops.com up above or down below in the show notes. I do not think you'll be disappointed. One-on-one -on -one calls, office hours, you name it, it's there for you. Learn from me. Let me help you become a better coach.